Listen to this faith enlightening and very beautiful narration with regards to the blessings and the benefits of reciting salawat, durood e or salutations upon the cream of creation, the owner of Jannah, the knower of the unseen, the intercessor of the Ummah, our beloved Master, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the great giant scholar of Islam, Sayyiduna Imam Fakhruddin Razi rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi, has stated in his famous Tafsir Kabir that on the Day of Judgment, when virtues, when the good deeds of a Muslim will be lighter on the scale, which means the bad deeds are heavier. So if the, when the good deeds are lighter on the scale, the Mizan, the most renowned and revered Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam would take out a piece of paper and place it on the side of the good deeds. And this will cause the good deeds to become heavier than the bad deeds. Allahu Akbar. That Muslim will humbly ask, may my parents be sacrificed upon you or for you. How handsome you are. How graceful is your behavior. Tell me, kindly tell me who are you? Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam will reply, I am your Nabi. I am your Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And this piece of paper is that durood and salat which you had recited upon me. Allahu Akbar. How fortunate will be that Muslim. Indeed, Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is truly the intercessor of the ummah, the intercessor, the helper, the assister of us sinful Muslims. May Allah Azza wa grant us his shafa'a, his intercession. But if we also want these kind of benefits, this is about planning. Planning not only for this dunya, but for, for comfort in the grave and success in the hereafter. Let us also recite an abundance amount of durood e -Pak. Instead of wasting our precious moments and minutes in unnecessary conversations or useless conversations and activities, let us recite together Sallu ala al-Habib, Sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad, Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.